The psychology behind making women obsessed with you, she won't stop thinking about you. Leave a like on the video my love and if you are new to the channel subscribe to receive new advice, do this to help the channel continue to grow, leaving a like is all I ask as a gift. The psychology behind making women obsessed with you can be complex. Now, sometimes in life, men have desired to make women obsessed with them. To achieve this, they do God knows what but still fail. Well, we are back with another video regarding ultimate solutions to this dilemma. Most guys concentrate so heavily on winning a woman over that they overlook the fact that women perceive things a lot differently than men. Likewise, you must discover what compels her if you want her to have feelings for you. To successfully do this, you must first understand that this is about her and not you. A rather selfless approach would be handy. Consider what she desires from you and not what you would like from her. You'll have a greater understanding of what you need to do to make a woman obsessed with you once you've established this emotional connection of understanding. Are you ready? Here goes. But first, please press that red button to subscribe to our channel and comment, I've subscribed, so we can thank you. Establish yourself as high value. Men mostly believe that if they flaunt their wealth and luxuries, be it their Mercedes or a Rolex watch, women will like them more. Now, yes, I'm not going to lie to you, sometimes this does catch a girl's attention, but not always, and certainly not often the right type of women you'd want a relationship with. Hence, if you want to be unique and stick out from the typical male crowd, do not show off. Instead, try taking a more holistic approach. Share your opinions, visions, and goals with her. Now, let's consider Steve Jobs, the man who created Apple. He had a clear goal, he frequently discussed products he wished to create or items he saw existing in the future, then he made that happen. Although he was very wealthy, he still shared his plans for Apple with others. These days, women find this kind of perseverance and hard work attractive and rather seductive too. Therefore, if you want a woman to be obsessed with you, talk about your goals for the future and how you intend to achieve them. Live a life you can be thrilled of, rather than just bragging about your expensive sports car or your high school accomplishments. Create an air of mystery. Being enigmatic and mysterious are traits that always keep a woman on edge. Thus, following this tactic and withholding some information could be an effective way to make a woman obsessed with you. Things can quickly become monotonous when men overshare about themselves to women. It's fun to continue discovering new things about your partner as you go along. If you intend to be in a committed, long-term relationship, she continues to be drawn to you, but there will always be room for some fascination and suspense. Should we ponder what else you have to offer? You could share a part of something with her while keeping the other part to yourself, like saying, yeah, I do work in marketing, without revealing to her that you are the owner of your own business. Then, you can just casually mention it into a discussion a few days later, and voila! Get out of the friend zone. Now, by this I certainly do not mean you should quit talking to her, but you should stop behaving like you are her friend. Make this obvious if you want her to be more than just a friend, or else it's that dreaded friend zone for you. So, change your body language, start texting her after you see her, and start engaging with her before you ask her out on a date. If you and her have been friends for a while, she will probably be shocked. However, she will then begin to consider her feelings for you as well. Maybe she will finally realize how wonderful it would be for the both of you if she said yes. Give her a little push. The fact is that women sometimes require a little nudging to realize that they like you. Sometimes they are so preoccupied with other things that they might not get the time to notice you like them. So, you might need to flirt with a friend to make them realize what they are missing out on. It's a dangerous move that occasionally may not pay off, but it all depends on how you play it out. Firstly, try not to be too overly flirtatious, even if you're just attempting to make a good impression on her. You should act like a gentleman. Second and most important, choose a close friend instead of a best friend. Now, the ideal method to flirt with someone is to speak to them frequently and make them laugh. Refrain from touching or engaging in physical flirtation, because doing so will make the woman that you like run away as she may get the wrong impression. When you shift the focus of your attention towards her friend, this makes her realize, why is he not giving me attention? I would love it if he was. Maybe I do like him. How could he be ignoring me? After that, she might start fretting over you, and you might then realize that she is actually making an effort to be with you. Live a life you love. Your existence is converged into one another when you are in a relationship, making the risk of suffocating one another more certain. 
Because of this, you both need to lead fulfilling lives apart from your potential relationship. Know your boundaries and personal space. Having a life you enjoy will not only force you to spend time apart, but it would also give the impression that you are of great importance to a woman. What has he accomplished, is what the lady will be asking herself as she begins to consider her feelings for you, or, has he got an enjoyable life? This is very appealing and well, gives the women confidence and that the guy's ability to handle the future is very certain. Play hard to get. Women, in general, receive a lot of attention from guys who praise them or frequently ask them out on dates. Girls enjoy the focus because it's pleasing, but there is a limit, and as time goes on, they've grown accustomed to it and expect it of men as well. They consequently become interested when they encounter a man who does not give them this kind of attention and handles them like they would treat anyone else. This is because they love getting recognition, they have grown used to receiving it. However, when they run out, they start to crave it, making it difficult to obtain more. They therefore exert more effort to get your focus and are fixated on finding how to get it. Playing hard to get is simple, just avoid putting pressure on them or showering them with your sweet words. Instead, simply speak to them in the same manner as you would with anyone else, and give them the same level of priority. Humor your way into her heart. When a man makes a girl laugh, they adore it, and the reason why is that it offers them a taste of what dating the man would be like. It's not enjoyable if a man is always serious. She will become fixated on you if you make her giggle with your sharp sense of humor because she desires that for the future. Is he always funny, she may wonder. In no time, she will manifest being your girl. A woman desires a companion with whom she can joke around and enjoy herself, so if humor is an area you feel confident in, don't be afraid to show this side of yourself. Any man can learn how to woo a woman, simply learn to be less self-absorbed and pay more attention to what the girl herself desires in a man. That's the trick. If you give her what she desires, she'll stop being obsessed with you in no time. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. Girls love this masculine body language, attractive male poses you can impress women with, alpha. Masculine behavior normally comes down to two things, the first being showing other guys that you're not threatened by them, and secondly, showing girls that you are the real deal and that you don't just intimidate others. Girls love it when men display masculine body language because it makes them look confident, strong, and like a protector. Today, I'm going to teach you about the types of masculine body language that girls absolutely adore, and to keep you on the right track, I'm also going to tell you about one thing that guys do that actually makes them look weak. Let's go. Masculine guys set the pace. It's all in the way they walk. Masculine guys walk with purpose. They don't shuffle or walk with their head low, run off the person in front of them, or walk in a stressed hurry. They walk with purpose and power, their heads are up straight, shoulders back. They don't walk slowly, but also they're not in a hurry. They walk like the world runs on their schedule, and they are in control of it. A masculine man walks in such a way that any girl that he is with will change their speed to match his. He's also polite enough to walk at their speed, but mostly, it's the way he walks, and girls know straight away that he is masculine. Masculine guys sit up straight. So many guys forget their posture when their date arrives at the table. The first thing they see is a guy sitting slumped over, scrolling through his phone with his head down. This is not what would happen if a girl was walking in and sees a masculine date. He would be sitting up in his chair, looking straight ahead, which would allow him to see his date walking in, catching her eye, and flashing his smile. Which guy would you rather walk in on? Masculine guys have good posture whether they are sitting down or standing, and this makes them appear more confident. And remember, girls love confidence. The masculine guy opens up his chest. Masculine guys often take up more space, and I don't mean manspreading, which is men obnoxiously taking up space that women can't sit down. It's more of a natural thing because they have great posture, which means their body sizes are averagely bigger. Now, a masculine guy tends to open up his chest area more, which makes him look naturally confident and therefore taking up more space in a room. They make a good first impression. Their body language, like the way they walk, their posture, and their open chests, gets them noticed by the ladies. They still have to speak, though, and make a good first impression, and masculine guys are not just about looks, they are great speakers. 
they naturally make a good first impression by simply just being themselves. They ask the other person about themselves, and they tell them a little bit about them. They offer up interesting conversation and overall, they come across as approachable, confident, and stable, all things that girls love and something that they're looking for. Masculine guys display control. If a masculine guy says no to something, he means it. He sticks to his word and he stands by it. He has control over his actions, which also means if he decides to do something, well, he's going to do it. The masculine men are high achievers, they don't procrastinate. Instead, they display control and get that job done. The same applies to their romantic lives. If they meet a girl and they like her, then they won't take an interest in any of the girls that might throw themselves at him. He only has eyes for that one lady, and girls love that determination, the control, and the dedication that the masculine man possesses. Masculine guys have style. Dressing in a sloppy way is not something that you will find a masculine guy ever doing. They are stylish and always well-groomed and dressed. Masculine guys often have what is called a capsule wardrobe, which basically means they have all of the basic pieces they need and replace them often. This means a few nice pairs of jeans, some nice casual shirts, dress shirts, trainers, dress shoes, plus some jumpers. This forms the basis of a capsule wardrobe, and masculine men replace these items often so that they always look in style and look refreshed. And good style is something that the masculine man always has, and it always impresses the ladies, without a doubt. Masculine guys message ladies back. Masculine guys will always message back. They hold themselves accountable for their actions and are very respectful. Girls that date them know that they will always be there and be honest. If they are busy, they will simply message the girl and say, sorry, I'm really busy, I will message you soon. They will also tell them if they don't feel the same way as the girl. Girls actually appreciate this honesty, although it might hurt at first. Masculine guys are also never afraid to text a girl first, but they won't keep sending messages if she's not replying. He has respect for himself as well as her, and girls can trust their masculine men, which is why they enjoy dating them and being in relationships with them. Masculine guys stay fit. What do you picture when you think of a masculine guy? Most of you are probably picturing a bodybuilder in a gym. Sure, bodybuilders can be masculine, but it's not just them. Any guy can be masculine, you don't need huge muscles or a six-pack. Masculine guys stay fit because they look after themselves. They want to look their best and feel their best, so they may lift weights, they may go running, they may go for a swim. They do something that suits them and their body, and they stay strong, and this is something that girls love about them. Their fitness comes across in their body language, from the way they talk, the way they stand, and even sit, and they just look better and are often the most confident people in the room. Masculine guys like a challenge. They don't give up easily. They are willing to work towards something for years if they think it is worth it. This includes a challenging relationship or winning a girl over. They will try and try and try again and always put 100% effort into something. In fact, masculine guys love being faced by a challenge, it keeps their lives interesting because to them, there would be nothing worse than living an uneventful life. They show girls that they are up for that challenge by immediately making strong eye contact when they meet, and obviously, girls love this determination. Masculine guys are leaders. Some people learn to become a leader, and others are born leaders. Masculine guys are born to be them. They have that natural confidence that is needed to lead a group of people. They are also fair, respectful, empathetic when people come to them with issues. They also display leadership style body language, you know, open arms, uncrossed legs, and they use their hands to illustrate what they are saying. Now, they make some of the best managers and they often find themselves at the top of the company quickly, and girls find this really sexy because it makes them driven and successful. The masculine guy is not negative. Everyone experiences some form of dissatisfaction from time to time, and yeah, we can get trapped in that negative cycle, and then it can be hard to escape from. We've all been there, we have all had those down periods. But masculine guys don't stay down. They get back up. They feel depressed for as long as they need to and then they're back up, kicking. They are emotionally mature and deal with their thoughts and feelings. This means they can easily get back on track to being positive and strong for themselves and those around him. If he kept all of his feelings inside, then it would be a lot harder for him to get out of that funk. Instead of focusing on the negatives of everything, 
he sees the positives, and this is what sets masculine guys apart from other guys, and it's something that the girls admire about them. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. 97% of girls want men to who do this. What women want in a man, 22 gestures that impress girls. There are things that girls really want men to do more of, and sadly, girls don't always communicate this with the guys in their lives. Men are not mind readers, so girls just continue to get more annoyed until they explode, and it all ends in a disagreement. Sometimes men do one of these things once, but then they forget to do it again, and it really drives girls crazy when men do not do these things. In the worst case scenario, it can lead to a breakup. This is why it's easier for men to just learn what these things are so that they can do them and keep their ladies happy. But how do you find out what these things are? Well, obviously, that's where I come in. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about the things that, in girls' eyes, men do not do enough of so that you can be the dream man for any lady who is lucky enough to have you. Like and subscribe. Remembering their birthday is a must, but there's a little bit more than that. They want you to remember work dates they have coming up or their best friend's birthday. Remembering dates and events that mean a lot to them shows them that you care about them. Showing your affection in public, don't just show her affection at home or even in the bedroom. Show it off in public as well. Girls love it when men hold their hands or even just simply put their arm around her when they are out in public together. It's a nice thing to do. Putting down the toilet seat, honestly, guys, it takes a minute and it's so easy. Girls hate walking into bathrooms when the toilet seat is still up. Dressing up for her, make an effort to dress up when you go out on a date with a girl, or just when you guys are both doing something together. If you do struggle to pick something to wear, then ask her. She will love that you have asked her and will have so much fun picking out an outfit for you. Opening doors for her, opening car doors or the door to a restaurant is a fantastic way to show a lady just how much of a gentleman you really are. Dancing. That's right, girls want a guy that can dance with them. It could be around the house, in a club, on the dance floor, or just whilst you guys are making tea in the kitchen. You don't have to be good, you just have to be willing to do it with them and make fun of yourself a little bit. Girls find it so fun when they can dance with a guy. Having an active lifestyle, girls love it when a man looks after himself, and one way to do this is by maintaining that active lifestyle. Going to the gym, walking every day, or even playing your favorite sports are some great ways to stay fit. Keeping active is also a positive thing for your mental health and overall well-being. Protecting her, from birth, most girls have had a man who has protected them, which could have been their dad or even their granddad. They don't want you to be their dad, obviously, because that would be very unhealthy, but she does want you to protect her. She wants you to look after her in a large crowd and to look after her when she's feeling not so perky. Doing something special for no reason, do not wait for an anniversary or a birthday to do something special. Just do it for no reason. Turn up in your car and deliver a bunch of flowers to her just for the sake of it. Remember, girls love romance and lots of gestures just like this. Taking an interest in her passions and hobbies, you both will have your own passions and hobbies that you like to do as separate people, and she will be paying attention to yours and even try to get involved when she can. You need to do the same. Taking an active interest because girls really want guys to do this more. Cooking for her, girls absolutely love it when they can put their feet up whilst the man cooks for them instead. There is something so sexy about a guy who cooks, and women really rate it as a high quality that they look for in a long-term partner. Sticking to your word, this one is really simple, isn't it? If you say that you are going to go and do something, then please make sure you do it. Spending time with her friends, yes, it might feel a little bit cringy. They could be very loud and sometimes even annoying, but they are her friends and they mean a lot to her, so you need to accept this and spend time with them. Next time she asks if you would like to meet them for a drink, simply say yes and she is going to be over the moon. Writing her a love poem, yeah, it's a little bit sloppy, but it's also very romantic, and who writes poems anymore? Actually, probably no one. Girls will absolutely love to receive some form of poetry from you. Only someone who really likes her would actually write a poem, right? So she's going to feel incredible. So do this, and it could be simple, write it on a post-it note and stick it to the mirror in her car. Be a good listener, 
we all need someone who takes the time and the patience to listen to what we have to say. Sometimes it could be problems that we are going through, something very stressful, or simply just a bit of a moan about the photocopier at work. We want someone who is going to listen intently to what we have to say and to focus on us in that moment. So do this more for her, and she's gonna feel incredibly valued by you. Be vulnerable with her, men can be very good at keeping their feelings to themselves and not wanting to share and open up. They might think of it as a sign of weakness or just maybe they were raised this way. Girls are very emotional and they can easily get vulnerable with you, which is why they want you to do the same. If you can't be vulnerable with her, then you won't be able to be that emotionally close, and your bond won't be as strong. So open up to her and trust that she is gonna love you regardless. Take her shopping, they do say that diamonds are a girl's best friend, but I kind of don't really believe that. Shopping is a girl's best friend. She doesn't always want to go shopping with her friends, her sisters, her girlfriends, sometimes she wants to go with you. Even though for most guys, shopping is their idea of hell, it would mean so much to her if you did tag along. And now, if you do want those serious brownie points, then please take her shopping. Compromising, every great, healthy relationship takes a lot of compromises. You have found a lady that you love, who is similar to you, and seems to understand you. That's not enough though. She's not always going to agree with everything that you think and do, and this is one of the biggest pitfalls in any relationship. Some people believe that you must agree with everything, but it's not about what you agree on or with, it's how you both compromise that makes a relationship long-standing. Make sure you both compromise whenever you have a disagreement. One of you is not going to win every time, and that's okay. Spending time with her family, women love spending time with their family, and she wants you to spend time with them too. It's important to her that you get on with her family and that you can all bond. They are the most important thing to her, and so obviously it would mean a lot to her if you could hang out with them from time to time. Being great with little kids, if a girl is in a relationship with you, she probably has the hopes that one day you will get married or have children if that's what she wants to do. And there is nothing more attractive to a girl than when she sees her man playing in a nice, adorable way with small children. Her motherly instincts immediately come out, and she starts to see what you would be like as a father. Making her laugh, it is so simple but it means so much. She wants you to make her laugh all of the time. Now, we all take life a little bit too seriously sometimes, and if you can't laugh with your partner, then who can you laugh with? Make her laugh as often as you can. You will notice the relationship works to be a little bit sweeter. Being her biggest cheerleader, she wants you to always be proud of her and to tell her to just go and do the things she loves, whether it's a career, a hobby, or a sport that she loves. She wants you to cheer along, and she is going to do the same for you and will most definitely be your biggest cheerleader. You can show her that you are cheering her on by going to any major important event and asking her how things are going. If you think I missed something from today's video, let me know down in the comments. Give me a huge thumbs up and consider subscribing to make my day. But if you want to get your name rolling up next to my face like these amazing people's names here, then all you have to do is click the link in the description bar below to find out a little bit more. Have an amazing day, see you soon.